so the, the next speaker of the, um, of the session is uh, also a designer uh, coming from uh, Oslo School of Architecture and is uh, mostly interested in uh, topics that are uh, similar to uh, what Usman uh, talked about. Is going to talk about how those uh, technologies, those sensors, RFIDs, could help to, uh, to help make visible things or phenomena that are invisible in our environment. So, Please welcome uh, Timo Arnold. Thank you very much. Um, I was recently in an Internet of Things conference about the societal benefits of RFID, and uh, the, the conference was delayed by an hour because uh, they couldn't get the laptop to talk to the, the speakers and to talk to the, to the projector. So I hope the, the technology is better here today. Um, I thought that was quite ironic. Yeah, I'm, I'm Timo Arnold. I, uh, I run a research project called Touch uh, at the Oslo School of Architecture and Design. And uh, well, we, we, at, at our hall, we, we uh, mainly do interaction in industrial design. So I'm very interested in things. I'm also very interested in the internet. I'm not primarily concerned about sustainability, although I'm, I'm interested in the longevity of objects. Um, and I guess you could say that our work lives somewhere in the Internet of Things. Uh, I'm not particularly keen on, the, on the, the term Internet of Things. I think it has lots of different meanings to lots of different people. But I think Bruce and, and Usman have done quite a good job of sort of trying to wrap up uh, uh, what's, what's been happening in, in, that, uh, in that area over the last five or six years. So... The first thing is that I find the internet really, really exciting. Uh, you know, as I'm sure most people here, the, the internet is, is really good at the moment. There's lots of good stuff going on. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's a brilliant platform for doing a lot of stuff with. Um, but I think there's also a, a, a potential downside of, of the internet and, it, and in its current incarnation. Um, a few months ago, a researcher called Mark Smith uh, spoke at the Microsoft Social Computing Symposium. And he talked about uh, you know, uh, the, the idea of physical interaction, digital, uh, physical and digital interaction. And he said that most digital, digital interaction takes place in another interaction order, in another space, uh, not in the physical interaction order of co-presence. So, so we go to the internet, we, we, so we get, go into screens. We sort of, the, the internet and, and the, the use of the web is somehow separated, or it can be quite separated from, from, our, from our physical, physical existence. Um, and I think there's a, there's a current kind of uh, trend or a current push to try and change that. And I think, uh, you know, the internet of things for me is something that is, is about trying to look at ways in which we can interact and ways in which, in which we can participate in these environments without necessarily uh, being in front of a screen. So for the last couple of years, we've been, in the Touch project, we've been looking at a, a technology called radio frequency identification. Um, it's a, you know, this technology is, is, is called the fun, one of the fundamental building blocks of, of the Internet of Things. These are tiny wireless chips that can be embedded inside clothes and objects and environments. Uh, and they're, you know, they're, they're really ubiquitous. They, uh, they, you know, there's, there's something like two billion of these chips, uh, you know, in use daily in the world. Um, you know, if you have a travel card in London, you have, you know, an Oyster card, you have an RFID chip. If you have a library card or an access card, you have an RFID chip. So these things are, you know, starting to cause a lot of hype and a lot of controversy. So that's, you know, some of the things that Bruce talked about in shaping things, which I highly recommend that you read. Um, so I think that you know it, it's a significant technology because it it is so ubiquitous. It's it's becoming you know, it's these things accompany us uh, in our in our everyday lives. Um, so you know for us, I don't think the internet of, uh, the Internet of Things is not a it's not a future scenario. It's actually uh, something that we are you know actively working with, actively using and designing. So we're trying to build very kind of pragmatic and actionable research about how we design these things and how we use these things, what, what kind of user experiences they might create. So we're, we're, you know, we're looking at, at the ways in which technology has been designed and the way in which it, it inhabits the world.